Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be Fighting Spirit Mania, a smattering of games from round two. Upper right-hand corner, we have Holden, aka Berry Go Round. He's been active in CPL. And speaking of active CPL players and players that are just out there and awesome, Keen. This is the Red Zerg, upper left-hand corner. Looks like the Overlord Scout is going to be initially moving to the right for Keen. We saw Keen in Hasu League. Looks like Overlord Scout is actually going to be there for Holden as well. We saw Keen in Hasu League. Did pretty well, which I think is unsurprising. Keen is one of those guys, like, they talk about people that you see coming down the line, where the, it's like the top tier guys. Uh, this is actually in the, the Christmas edition, where they're like, we see people coming down the line. And I, the people I see coming, like, definitely Exit, Keen, Phoebus, uh, some of these guys where it's like, they just seem to be steadily improving. And you can see that they're going to be eventually a force to be reckoned with. It's just, uh, how long is it going to take and when are they going to be, and it, are there going to be inter interruptions like work and girlfriends and marriages and children, you know, life. <laughs> anyway, uh, Keen though, solid Zerg player. I haven't seen Holden play yet, so I'm excited to see him play in this matchup. Granted, I have done a lot of ZVZ recently, but that just means I'm going to be all the fresher for this particular match. And again, for people that are watching the stream, be sure to check out BSL Season 14, which is just about to start. This weekend, we're going to have the Pro League up and running. Holden opening up with an Overlord first build. It looks like Keen opening up with a 9-pool Extractor. He's going to see the near side base. Looks like we're seeing a 12-pool. Upper right hand corner. So it looks like Holden or Barry is going to have the in theory economic build advantage. We'll see if Keen does the adjustment on this that we've seen something where we've seen Rancor doing. It looks like instead he's is just gonna build the Zerglings. This is gonna be difficult to come back from because assuming that the drones get saved, usually what happens in the midst of this is, is you end up with your opponent coming into your base. Just as your Zerglings are kind of coming online, you can dispatch them fairly easily. Holden is saving up resources to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. It looks like Larva... Ooh, actually... He's only got a few Larva here saved, so he's got the four Zerglings he needs to... So it'll be a bit of delay on the third. The Zerglings are making their way this direction. So he's still going to maybe need to pull drones to defend this, but currently has the lead. If Holden holds this... If Holden holds this, it will be... Uh, an advantage, but he's not immediately built. He went straight to Lair and did not build this last set of Zerglings. Now he's building them, and this is... Ooh. Let's see if Keen can... Yeah, and he's continuing to dedicate Zerglings this direction. So that was a big mistake. Might cost him his natural... So, yeah, huge cancellation there. So Keen down on drones, but still might be able to breach this. Three drones coming off the line. Holden still potentially with an advantage, but at least in drones, he's still going to need to... Wow. Actually, maybe drop the Evolution Chamber. Keen does have his natural expansion running behind this. And with that hatchery cancellation, realizing the build order, just going to go ahead and back up. Drones have now restabilized with the evacuation of the natural expansion. Holden retaking his natural. Accidentally attacking. Did that? That looked like an attack on his own Zergling. Yeah, take that, ally. Actually, it's a nice little portrait they got right there. I wish I could zoom in on it. Keen still moving forward. It looks like he's going to harass that natural expansion once again. Spire is on the way. So basically, by showing this, he's trying to force more Zerglings to be built. Drone canceled once again, and that drone might get picked off. So Holden... Losing ramp cohesion. The Zerglings flooding through, and he's down Zerglings. Also just getting a lot picked off. And instead, trying to drop a creep colony rather than Spire. So Holden looks like he's going to get taken out by Keen early here. The drones getting wiped out. And this is before even Spire play is a factor. More Zerglings making their way across. Keen smelling blood in the water. Four drones left for Holden. Now the Spire being dropped. Even if the Sunken Colony finishes, there's just not enough of an economy. Yeah, that is the last drone. And this was Zerglings that were produced from Holden behind this. And there's going to be Mutalisks to deal with a Zergling counterattack, potentially. So Holden's still going to try to fight this out. He's moving his Zerglings across the field. Voice having some trouble right there. But, yeah, Keen now up 12 drones to 1. Dropping a creep colony because he can afford it. A single Mutalisk in the air will deal with any amount of Zerglings. Holden would have to wipe out every single drone. And honestly, uh, don't see it happening. 
don't see it happening. So it's going to be a GG, I assume. And that's not to say that Zerglings can't be built. Keen breaching the ramp, pulling back. Sunken Colony is there. Just needs to not lose everything here and he'll be fine. Mulos, one Mulos. Yeah, there's GG from Holden. Well played by Keen, top to bottom. Quick one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nevertheless, I uh, look forward to seeing Keen. I'm, I'm wondering how deep he's going to go, actually, in the Fighting Spirit Mania thing. I think it'll be a good... It's actually... I feel like doing a lot of these games as well helps both players improve overall, as long as there's not, like, a huge gap in skill, which there was across round one, but anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nevertheless, thanks for listening.